This week, Samsung finally released Google Assistant for the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Watch 4 Classic. This is something Samsung Galaxy Watch users have been waiting for since the Watch 4 launched late last year, and it's finally here. You can finally replace Bixby with Google Assistant. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and get Google Assistant set up on your Galaxy Watch 4. All right, so the process to do this is actually pretty easy and it might already be done for you depending on when your watch last installed app updates. There's not a firmware update required here. It's actually an update to an existing Google Assistant app that I think was hidden on the Galaxy Watch before now, but there's a couple of things you can do. So in order to check to see if you already have Google Assistant installed on your device, like it updated on its own while it was charging, downloaded the app update, you can open your app list and just scroll down through it until you find the Google Assistant icon. For me, it was at the bottom of my app list. The other option is there is a link, a direct link to the Google Play Store for the Assistant listing that is compatible with wearables. What you'll do is you'll visit that site, you will click on the install button, you will select your watch from the list of available devices, and then send the update or the app to your watch. So once it's installed and you have it, like I do here, I haven't set it up yet. I wanted to go through the process for the first time on video with you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap the Google Assistant icon, activate Google Assistant on your watch is what it says. There's a get started button. I'm going to tap that. I am going to grab my phone that the watch is paired to because that's what Google Assistant or the uh, app is telling me to do. So get started. It says to talk to Google Assistant on your watch, first activate it from your phone. So I'm gonna open on phone to activate. And then we'll see what the process is here. I should already have Google Assistant activated on this phone. It's been set up, voice match, all that stuff has been set up for quite a while. It says it is downloading, activate Google Assistant. I'm gonna hit activate just a second. Looks like it's already working on the watch. Yeah, it is. And you can see it's transcribing exactly what I'm saying right now. It's probably going to be really confused because it's not a command. I'll go ahead and back out of that. All right, so new way to talk to Google. Looks like we have some terms we have to accept. Uh, access assistant with, hey Google. Yep, and I agree to voice match. Like I said, that's already been set up on the phone and linked to my account. Um, it's asking if I want to get personal results on the watch. I do. And then right here, it is saying that I can hold in the home key on the watch to activate Google Assistant. So now it's ready, we're all set up. I could do things like say, call mom, set a timer for 30 minutes, or what's the weather today? All right, so I'm gonna set my phone aside and go back to the watch. And right now, if I press and hold in the home button, Bixby shows up. I don't, I don't understand that. Yeah, we know Bixby, you don't understand a whole lot. All right, so I just looked up how to set Google Assistant as the default personal assistant and re replace Bixby on this Galaxy Watch 4. So what I'm gonna do is wake the screen, swipe down to go to the settings icon. I'm gonna go to advanced features. I'm going to go to customize keys. And then I'm going to change press and hold for the home key from wake Bixby to assistant. And then I'm gonna go back to the home screen. And when I press and hold, now Google Assistant pops up. If I also wanted to activate Google Assistant, I could say, hey Google, hey Google, and there we go. What's the weather like? Hey, not bad. So as you can see, using Google Assistant on the Galaxy Watch 4 is actually really easy to not only get installed, but easy to set up. It takes a little bit of effort to dive into the settings, if you, especially if you forget where you're going in order to uh, adjust that button. But once it's done, you're all set up and ready to go and you can use Google Assistant whenever and wherever you want directly on your wrist. So long Bixby, it's been fun. 
I'm Jason Cipriani. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips like this one and all of the latest tech news.